Let's begin. Here is the list of Trump's executive orders so far that are making President Obama weak, destroying his legacy, and MAGA making America great again. This story, the Conservative Tribune pulled this list together. They write, liberals are finding out fast just how quickly what can be done with a pen and a phone can be undone by a pen and a phone, thanks to a series of executive orders by President Donald Trump undoing much of former President Barack Obama's legacy in Trump's first days in office. They write that if you were a conservative and you had some doubt about the trajectory of the Trump administration, they state this first batch of actions should help put your mind at ease. These are the promises he's keeping. Okay? The quick list, courtesy of Fox News, they write here, an executive order to ease the regulatory burdens of Obamacare. One of the president's first executive actions said that the agencies must waive, defer, and grant exemptions from or delay the implementation of any provision or requirement of Obamacare that would place a fiscal burden on any state or a cost, fee, tax, penalty, or regulatory burden on individuals, families, health care providers, health insurers, patients, recipients of health care services, purchasers of health insurance, or makers of medical devices, products, or medications. So let me, let me go back to the beginning of that. What are they? They are um, delaying the implementation of a provision that would place fiscal burden. A fiscal burden. So basically like anything that would be like a fine or, or just cost them money. Delay it. Their requirement to participate in that provision of Obamacare. That's really great news. <clears throat> uh, they write here that an earlier Fox News story also reported... The order said states should encourage the development of free and open market, free and open market in interstate commerce for the offering of health care services and health insurance. Also freeze, a freeze on federal hiring except for the military. So no new people will be hired into the federal government, a freeze. The military is exempt. The right as part of the new president's promised efforts to shrink the size of the federal government Trump ordered an immediate hiring freeze on Monday that would reduce the size of the federal bureaucracy through attrition. They write this would not apply to the military, however. Uh, Trump promised to strengthen the military. They write also, the, the, another one was the withdrawal from the Trans-Pacific Partnership. If you did not hear, yes, we have removed ourselves. Thank you, Donald Trump. They state the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a proposed free trade agreement that would ship, jo ship American jobs overseas was a constant target of Trump when he was on the campaign trail, so it wasn't surprising when he signed an order announcing his intention to withdraw the United States from the TPP negotiations. Quote, we've been talking about this for a long time. He says he signed it, according to the Washington Compost. Great thing for the American worker. Uh, and then also, the, another executive order, he reinstated the Mexico City abortion funding policy, they write here, Trump revived a rule first adopted under the Reagan administration that prevents federal funding from being given to organizations that perform or promote abortions during their international aid work. It's generally been kept under Republican administrations while being um, issued under Democrats. So the question remains, what is next on the agenda for the executive orders? How much more will he repeal from the Obama administration? Whew. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and just keep reporting all the good news as it comes. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Subscribe for updates. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and share this report on your social networks. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report. And to get more videos like this, become a Next News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching, The Next News Network.